Hey everyone, this is Chris, uh, bringing you a video this week of a quest that I think is going to be absolutely miserable on camera. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna try and defeat Dagnir by walling her off with Baragond, and my goal is to do this before the staging area gets so full of side quests that there isn't any room for anything else. Which is probably gonna happen pretty much regardless of what I hope for, but uh, we're gonna give it a shot and see how this goes. <laughs> Worst case, Baragon dies in an inglorious death, and we just end the attempt early. But that's okay. Uh, I have my opening hand. We're using Arwen Aristor Baragond, uh, because Noldor heroes are great for this quest, because Legacy Blade is so, so good. Uh, it also allows me to spend relatively few resources for a lot of progress early. Let's draw my extra four cards. One, two, three, four. Well, good news, bad news. Uh, good news, Gondorian Shield. Uh, let me Good Harvest naming Spirit. Allows me to spend these two for Unexpected Courage. And I guess this is okay. Discard Glorfindel for a resource on Aristor. And with both Wardens of Healing in this hand, I am sort of forced to play one early. I also have Protector of Lorien, but that doesn't help. Uh, you know what? Let's actually swap some of that around. Let's name Lore instead of Spirit, so I can play the Warden with those two resources that I used. And this still allows me to get Protector of Lorien and have one additional resource, uh, which I think will go on Arwen. All of that should work out reasonably correctly. <sighs> That'll be the end of planning. I do have healing. So, all right, we'll reveal a side quest and see what it is. Face the dragon, totally fine. Uh, it's one of the safest ones. So Dagnir's gonna make an immediate attack without any shadow effects. So I'll defend with Baragond and he'll take one damage. Uh, which, which might screw me, but we'll find out. So, questing, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight up against one. All right, so this is just doomed two. Uh, that's totally fine. So eight against one makes seven progress, which, for lack of a better option, is going to go on face the dragon. I don't know if we're going to finish face the dragon, but it's not too bad to get the progress there. I lose all those extra cards. And we tick up 32 threat going into round number two. Uh, I could have Warden of Healing to get rid of that one damage. Not too bad so far. I'll draw my four cards. All right, well, this is a pretty good mix. I'll spend one for a Light of Valinor on Aristor. Uh, he should have exhausted last round. Doesn't really matter. I will play a Dunedain Hunter. One, two, three, four, five. Looking for Stray Goblin. Hey, just like that. I mean, really, there's a lot of things that are fine when you have Baragond, <laughs> but Stray Goblin and it's surging, can't get it out of the staging area shenanigans. Probably the worst. All right, and we'll be able to kill that with the hunter. So let's call that the end of planning. Reveal, hold the door. Uh, cannot reduce threat, totally fine. 
This is giving me a bit of a softball, which I always appreciate. Uh, so let's have Baragon defend Dagnir again, taking one damage. Uh, we can either take this undefended, eh, or defend with Aristor and be fine either way. So, questing. Three, four, five, uh, six, seven, up against one. And I guess we will go to face the dragon because I don't care that much about hold the door. Uh, Dagnir makes an immediate attack against the first player. Well, all right, so this is gonna be undefended with a shadow, unfortunately. Attacking enemy gets plus two. All right, so, so we're at nine damage out of the 50, uh, but we do make more than enough progress to clear face the dragon. Fortunately, takes Dagnir up to two threat, but she does take five damage. I can find my spin down. All right, so uh, we're going to defend with Aristor against this stray goblin. Shadow effect is plus one. It's absolutely perfect. Hunter will kill the goblin and Warden of Healing removes all of the damage. This is so profoundly better than each of my test games. You do not have any idea. <laughs> in, in both of my earlier attempts, the first quest I drew was the one that says you can't count your defense uh, when Dagnir attacks, which is not good for the Baragon strategy. So we got a little closer to death than I think anyone would have liked. Well, still no unexpected courage, which is a bummer. Uh, but at this point, I'm gonna discard one of these for a resource on it doesn't matter who. Spend. I think I forgot to give myself resources. Um, but I can't exactly rewind the video, so we're just gonna roll with what we have. Uh, spend them all for Treebeard, because Treebeard is great. All right, that'll be the end of planning. So we get a side quest. Fortify the defense, that's the one. Uh, so now Dagnir has to attack directly at Krogar's Hill. Which brings me from nine up to 16. And I really have to clear fortify the defense basically immediately. So. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Up against two in the staging area. That's why I said it could be slow. All right. <laughs> so eight against two does mean six progress, which is good, but it also means seven, seven more damage on Rogar's Hill. Uh, all right, so from 16 to 23. Yeah, uh, this is how this goes. <laughs> little refresh, tick myself up to 34 threat. Generate some resources for sure. Uh, Treebeard gets one too. And draw my one, two, three, four cards for the round. All right, I drew Will of the West, so now we check. I have not seen the other Will of the West yet, so that is fine. I don't have to play it right now. I'm gonna pitch a Vigilant Guard to add a resource to Arwen so I can spend those resources on an Eregian Survivor. Uh, Linda Navigator would be nice as well, but not quite as easy to take advantage of. So we'll just do this for the time being. And that's the end of planning. So, side quest number three, Rally the Woodmen. Uh, this one's okay. And it doesn't do anything bad to us right now, so no big deal. Dagnir makes an immediate attack with no shadow card, which I have to take on the hill. I'm not going to get rid of one of these allies. Uh, so now we quest. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
Uh, 10, 11 with Protector of Lorien. 12. 12 against 2. 12 against 5 is 7 progress, but that does clear Fortify the Defense. Uh, so I'm going to give each of my heroes one resource. Because I don't need the extra cards right now. Uh, and Dagnir ticks up to now 3 threat. I do have to engage the Dragon's Thrall. Uh, which at this point I will choose... We'll put 3 on Hrogar's Hill. I can defend now, so it's probably not going to take too much more. Uh, so, alright. Baragond is going to defend this attack. Plus one for each side quest in the victory display. Very glad to see that gone. There's only two in the deck. I counted before this. So there's one of them. Uh, it's not going to do anything against Baragond with the shield. But I don't have enough to do any damage to the Dragon's Thrall. Uh, so that's it for this round. Tick up to 35. I was quickly checking to make sure that none of these side quests have any text that I need to worry about all the time. So far they do not. All right, so now we have a lot of resources and four cards, yes please. All right, so here is Legacy Blade. Uh, an inclusion just because of the quest that we are playing. And honestly, all the rest of these cards are useless. Literally useless. <laughs> uh, so, I reveal another side quest. Route the goblins. I need to get a goblin, so I'm going to take the same goblin I found last time. Stray goblin. Uh, Tribute should have two resources right now, which is actually really nice. All right. Um, I realized I said I could defend right now, but I don't have any readying for Baragon, so... With all of these enemies engaged with me, I, mean, I could double defend with Treebeard, kill one goblin. Yeah, so let's do that. Uh, Baragon defends the Dagnir attack at the end of planning. All good there. Uh, Aristor is now four attack. That's pretty good. Um, I don't really want to clear another side quest right now. So I think we're just going to quest against the main quest, as weird as that sounds. Uh, so three, four, five, six. Let's just send five. Send five to the quest, up against three. Targeting main, so I don't need to make much progress. All right, so five up against six. I will burn one card in order to prevent my threat from going up. And this way I don't have to track any progress. Oh, Dark Black Woods. I can't afford to travel there right now because if I get another enemy, I am possibly screwed. No, that doesn't make sense. I have all these allies ready. I should be fine. So travel to Dark Black Woods. Discard the top card. It is an enemy, so it goes into the staging area, but it's not revealed. So that's fine. Uh, all right, so now I have a bunch of goblins. Uh, a goblin side quest is never gonna go away. And all these shadow effects. Uh, so Treebeard is going to defend the dragon's thrall. If I can flip over this shadow card. Excess damage dealt to Hrogar's Hill, that does nothing. Um, Treebeard can defend the Orc of the Flame. Bup, bup, bup. Attacking enemy gets plus one, so also nothing. 
Uh, Aristor swings for four, so I don't want to defend with him right now. So I'll just defend with the Regian Survivor and boost up Aristor's willpower for no reason. So two defense, two attack, plus two on the shadow means two damage, which is pretty fine. Uh, so counting, I have four attack here, thanks to Legacy Blade, seven. I will kill the Dragon's Thrall as the most dangerous of these enemies. Uh, unfortunately, that doesn't help me really deal with sort of the number of defenses that I have to do. Uh, but I can Warden of Healing to remove two of this damage, uh, readying him immediately to protect me from that stupid shadow effect and clear off the other one. Uh, not shadow effect, the treachery that strips all your resources, raises your threat, and makes you feel really bad. So, ticking up to 36, round number... I must have missed one, this is... Uh, you know what, I've lost count, so we're just gonna leave it. As I have two side quests cleared and three in play, and if my counter says the round number is four, that is just a lie. All right, Tribune gets one resource. Aristor ends up at two, Arwen at three, and Baragond at four, which is not great. Uh, one, two, three, four cards. That helps, though. Uh, so, all right, we put another Legacy Blade on Aristor, because that card is real good. We'll play an Eorith and a Raven-Winged Helm. Uh, Sterner Than Steel is possibly useful this round, so we won't spend it if we don't have to. All right, so end of planning. Draw her fire. All right, Sterner Than Steel is useless now. <laughs> Uh, but okay, so Dagnir is going to make an immediate attack. I uh, can't cancel shadows, but she's not going to get one for this. So I'll defend with Baragon and use the helm to prevent the one point of damage. I still don't want to make any progress, so we're going main quest. Uh, three, four, five... Let's do six, seven with the survivor, eight, eight up against three. That treachery. All right, so we're, we're doomed nine. Brings me up to 45. Uh, so now I do have to clear, hold the door pretty urgently. Um, I do get rid of dark black woods and that excess progress really doesn't matter. So I'm gonna ignore it. Get some shadow effects. Uh, let's have Aristor swings for six right now, which kills this orc immediately. Uh, so let's have Treebeard defend Stray Goblin. No shadow. We will have, I mean, I could take this undefended, but it'll be four damage if I do and I'm wrong. So we'll defend with the hunter. No shadow effect, means one damage here. Uh, and Aristor is enough to kill this orc. Warden of Healing heals the hunter. Uh, seems all right, aside from the fact that I'm about to thread out. Tick up to 46. Refresh all these cards. Thankfully, that treachery does not clear out Treebeard's resources because those are really nice. All right, draw my one, two, three, four cards. Spear is good. So play the spear. Uh, spend one for a Lembas. That helps a little. Uh, Protector of Lorien, Light of Valinor are not very useful. And I basically have to make progress right now to get hold the door. So three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, just nine if I do this. Um, 
but I forgot I have to do the side quest and the Dagnir thing, so douse the flames. That one is also bad. Uh, all right, so does it make more sense for me to clear douse the flames now? I have four turns of leeway either way. All right, so we're going for douse the flames. Uh, Dagnir makes an immediate attack, which Baragond will defend and prevent a damage with the helm. I have Lembas if I need it. But so questing, uh, we're going for douse the flames. So three, four, five, six, seven. Um, honestly, eight, nine, 10, 11 with three, so I'm not gonna clear it this round regardless. Oh, all right, Swarm of Bats clears out two resources and now completely inverts the math about how many times I can survive each of these side quests. Uh, so I sent 11 up against three, that is eight progress on Douse the Flames. So close. Uh, Stray Goblin, I'll defend with Treebeard. I should have sent Treebeard to the quest, and then this wouldn't be a problem, but I'll kill the Goblin here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we take up to 49 threat. Uh, I do end up at 38 on Hrokar's Hill. Uh, one side quest left. And it is going to be the one that adds damage to Rogar's Hill over time. Which is honestly the least urgent one right now. Um, let me draw my four cards. Generate my three resources. Well, I have an unexpected courage, but I don't think I can play it. Uh, so I'm just going to... Two cards for Unexpected Courage keeps me safe long-term, but I can't do that because long-term I just lose. Uh, so we're gonna play this Lemboss. I have three cards to, no, I'm not even gonna play the Lemboss. Uh, one of these cards is Elrond's Council, so this is four willpower in my hand. <laughs> we're gonna, <laughs> gonna end planning, uh, reveal, like I said, defend the town. I'm gonna take up one damage on Hrogar's Hill every round. <laughs> uh, Dagnir is gonna make an attack, which I have to defend with Baragon, preventing the last point of damage with the helm. Uh, and now we quest, targeting hold the door, because otherwise I lose at the end of the round. So three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, uh, plus an extra four makes 15, up against three. All right, oh, no, doomed one. Yep, and that is the end of the quest. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Once again, far and away the most impactful card from the sort of later half of all of these cycle is definitely this swarm of bats. It doesn't have to take that many resources away before it uh, turns into just a massive doom. And it denies you those resources. Well, all right. <laughs> That's going to be the end of this attempt. Hopefully you can see how this was meant to go. Thanks for watching.